specific heat equation practice. Okay, the first thing we need to do is talk about the equations for specific heat. Now the one they give you already written here, specific heat capacity equals heat divided by mass times change in temperature. I don't really like the way that looks, so I've rewritten it up here. So C equals Q over M times change in T, and that is for finding specific heat. And this one is heat energy, again, that's a Q, equals C, which is specific heat capacity, times mass, times change in temperature. And this one is good to use if the problem asks you to find the heat energy. Okay, so each of these, each of these problems are gonna ask us to find a different thing. So like this first one says, gives us some information, and then it says calculate the specific heat capacity of iron. It's asking us to find <clears throat> specific heat. So we know we need to use that top equation. So I'm going to rewrite that equation here. All right, now I need to figure out what these variables are. So I'm gonna to need to find a number for Q, a number for mass, M, and a number for the change in temperature. And all of that can be found within the problem. So starting off, it says a 15.75 gram piece of iron. Well, grams is the measurement for mass. So next to M, I can write 15.75. <clears throat> okay, so that piece of iron absorbs 1,086.75 joules of heat energy. Well, that's heat energy. So next to the Q, I'm going to put that number. Last one, change in temperature. Well, it says, and this temperature changes from 25 to 175 degrees Celsius. So how much does the temperature change? Well, it goes up 150 degrees. And I can figure that out by looking at the difference between those two numbers. So change in temperature. 150 degrees Celsius or just 150 Kelvins. Now I rewrite the equation with those numbers. So plug and chug. Okay, from here it's just a matter of simplifying the equation and you can use your calculator. I have to use it to find out what the number is. Divide those two, and you get your answer, and it's specific heat, so it will be in joules per grams Kelvin. So that, that's number one. Don't forget, for every single one of these, you're gonna to wanna to figure out which equation to use what the values of the variables are, and then plug and chug.